live from Hickory. It's country ish. Alan! Get the country boy. And he's making it good. He was Charles underdog, dressed in beaver rolls, living next to the wood. He liked to eat the sushi, but he don't even fish. Not so much a country boy, it's more like he's country ish. Moved out of his green. Headed for Southern Cal Wound up in TV and film Making popsicle proud Now this country boy Is back with his family Got himself a podcast He knows it'll last Cause he's in Hickory <laughs> That's right <laughs> I am from Hickory, and I'm happy about it. I hope you're happy. I really do, no matter where you are. And if you're not, won't you let me work on that for you for the next hour or so? You know what I'm saying? Let's turn the frown upside down, okay? What up, bumpkins? You're about to watch and or listen to episode 113 of Country-ish. It is Tuesday, January 25th. 2020 and we have a grizzly sunshiny show for you today we got kid rock in the best trend segment we're going to talk about him and his new song that he dropped um it's always sunny in philadelphia star and friend of mine from into the storm my old buddy kyle davis is going to zoom into the show we're going to talk to him um also more residual checks. I'm giving money away. Somebody's going to win one of my residual checks today, tonight. Will it be you? Stick around and find out. Also, intern Isaiah with another review of And Just Like That on HBO. And in small town news, a Florida man beats off a bear. Well, <laughs> with his fist. Well, is a fight. He uses bear hands. You know what I'm saying. Stick around and find out. It's going to be a great show. Uh, but we're live right now on Facebook and YouTube. And, uh, you know, we want you to leave comments. And we want you to hit the share button, obviously. And I got two interns sitting over here checking your comments. Look at here. Look at them. We got Elliot the intern and intern Isaiah sitting right there. One of them is doing Facebook. One of them is doing YouTube. Leave a comment. In fact, I'll ask you a question. Have you ever had to fight off a wild animal? You ever had to do that? I want to know about it. Leave it in the comments section. And if, uh, if it's good, if i got time and these guys can keep up with it, I'll read your, your comment. And if I don't get to it, maybe I'll do it next week because that's what I do. In fact, I'll read some comments from last week so you know I'm honest about this, okay? Here's some comments from last week. Benjamin Huffman, he said, I got all of my suspenders from my great-grandfather when he died a few years ago. Yeah, uh, I don't know how we got on the subject. Oh, yeah, I was asking people if they collect stuff. Yeah, and then you said you had more Mendy suspenders. Yeah, so he's got Benjamin Huffman. There you go. There's your shout-out. Bob Haynes, he says, I'm looking forward to the after dark. I love this show as is, but I also like the idea of a more Comedy Central non-censored version. That's right. If you don't know what Bob Haynes is talking about, this is a good time to, for me to remind you. We have a Patreon page, and we're doing a new deal. If you become a Patreon supporter at the $5 level or up, uh, you get to be a part of, you get exclusive access to a show that we're doing just for Patreon uh, supporters. You know, country-ish after dark. We're going to get a little crank, a little crunk, a little crazy, right? We're going to have some drinks. Well, we, you know, it might be rated R. And uh, we'll talk to you guys live, right? But just for people who are the Patreon supporters. So uh, thank you, Bob Haynes. Looking forward to it as well. We're going to do that February 8th. February 8th will be the first time we do Country-ish After Dark. So you have time. Go ahead and go to countryish.com, click on support, be a supporter, and you get to, to see what, how crazy we get. Roseanne Henshaw, I spit on this microphone. Roseanne Henshaw said, Isaiah, please talk into the mic. 
You keep fading out. Look how far you're sitting back over there. Look, see how far you yeah, now get get now say something. What's up? That's it. That's where you need to be. That goes for you too, Elliot. All right. Yes, sir. When you talk and oh, I haven't introduced. Okay, Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. I'm not. I got to get used to this. We got three <laughs> interns actually. We got the two over here doing the comments. Over here, also on his laptop, Sergeant have a ball. And what he does, basically, he's a corrector. Like, he, you know, if I do something, if I say something that's not true, he's fact-checking stuff. He's looking up facts. Uh, Keeps me busy. Doing research. See, right there, didn't hear you. you gotta, Keeps me busy. You got to leave that microphone. <laughs> he's also got some, uh, some alcohol right in front of him. We're going to get to that in a minute. But he's my runner. If I need something, he runs the residual checks in there, Alan. It, it, we'll get into it later. Um, also, another comment from Jimmy Benson. He said, my carpet looks like a Vienna sausage laying on a tennis ball. How great is that? I don't want that visual in my head, but it's a good visual. That's really good. We were talking about does the carpet match the drapes. Uh, basically, Jimmy just admitted to having a tiny, tiny penis. I like your honesty, Jimmy. You know, I like you more now as a human being. So thank you for your comments. Leave a comment. Did you have to fight off an animal? Let me know. All right. Um, Also, while I'm talking about it, I might as well do it right now. We got, finally, we have a brand new Apple Podcast review. Thank you. So here's another thing you could do. If you don't have any money, if you're like, well, John, I can't be a Patreon supporter. I got no money. Well, but you still want to help. You can go to Apple Podcast, write us a nice review, give us five stars, and I will read it on the show and give you a shout out and here's proof here's a new one we got uh from a guy named uh what's his name big island nick he gave us five stars he says keep it up awesome show absolutely hilarious segments keep it up from a hawaiian country boy nick from the big island of hawaii oh mahalo mahalo big island nick i appreciate you all right um so there you go also, uh, you know, we say at the beginning of the show, hit the share button, and um, that's that helps too. There's a little arrow at the bottom of the screen, whether you're watching Facebook or YouTube, they look different, but it's an arrow, and it's pointing to the right. If at some point during this show you click on that and you share this with other people, that is how we will grow. It's like a pyramid thing. See, so so do that, and um, I don't know. Should I do it, Alan? It's totally up to you, yeah, man. See, totally up to you. All right, I'll do it. You're doing it. Someone mentioned last week that said what happened to the share stare. That mm-hmm. I'm on the fence about doing it, but I'm gonna do it right now. Look, you are too good to your audience, Mister Reed. Here's the deal. Mm-hmm. Some of you are like, well, John, if I hit the share button now, I'm gonna miss a funny thing that you do with your face. And I don't want to miss anything. So I've come up with this thing called the share stare. I'm going to look right down the camera. And uh, this way, you you know, you won't miss anything. There's nothing to look at here. Go ahead and hit the share button while I give you the share stare. You know what I'm saying? Do you believe in sharing the love? (laughs) I can feel something on top of me head. It's a dumb wig, it's just not enough. Wow! Share stare. Hope you're happy. I hope you hit the share button. Look at what I'm doing, man. Appreciate you for doing it. If you didn't do it, I know you'll get around to it. I trust you. All righty. Good Lord, I got a lot to do here. Um, I got to plug some tour dates real quick. Uh, coming up this weekend, this Friday night, I'm going to be in Walhalla, South Carolina. Walhalla, South Carolina with Reno Collier at the Walhalla Performing Arts Center, Reaping Reno. Then on Saturday, the 29th, I'm going to be next door in Shelby. Shelby coming around the mountain. Shelby, Shelby. Me and Reno Collier are doing a show at the Don Gibson Theater. Get your tickets at countryish.com. Click on tour dates. All right, now, finally, let me get to the man sitting across the table. Thank you for pay- 12 minutes in. He ain't said a damn word. He ain't I, said a damn word. And I appreciate it because I have to give you your, your proper introductions. Yeah. This is one of my good friends. I've known him my whole life. All right? 
very tall guy. Comes in around uh, six feet, 37 inches. I do that math. Uh, played a little b-ball back in the day. I'm talking Kelly Trapuca years. Some people call him the fly swatter. Some people call him the southeastern man of mystery. I like to call him Sebastian. How are you? Fantastic, brother. Fantastic. Good to see you as usual. Oh gosh. Hope you're doing well. Did it's you have a good weekend? Been snowed in. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. It's been a minute since I talked to you. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. we went through some snow. Mm hmm. I thought I was going to. Uh, well, you know, last. I got snowed in Omaha. 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 Um, but this time, I was supposed to be doing a gig in Washington, D.C. that got canceled again. 17 times that's been canceled. I feel like it might be that number. I was, I've been wanting to go to Washington, D.C. Yeah. The it's monumental. Rescheduled it. Yes, yes it, it is, is monumental. Yes. It's the capital. Yeah. It's a big deal. So it's the District of Columbia. I think Biden wants you to come. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants me to go. Um, well, this time they said they rescheduled it because of COVID. The Omicron. Omicron. Which probably started in Omaha. Yeah. But they, they're they going to reschedule. <clears throat> Apparently all the staff uh, called in sick. And so I'm sorry if you have tickets uh, to Washington, D.C. It got rescheduled for September that date is also at countryish.com. Click on the tour date. Apologize if that happened, but you know what? What did happen was the best playoff football I've ever seen. A whole weekend of it. All four games. Fantastic. Were amazing. Yeah. Right? 49ers beating Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. Last minute field goal. Oh, Isaiah is not happy about that. So that was a great game. Then you had the Bengals. Uh, beating uh, somebody. Who did they beat? I forgot. The ti no. Titans. Yep. No, it wasn't the Titans. Did they beat the Titans? Yeah, they beat the Titans. No, no, because that's – I don't remember. I just – are we sure? Yeah. Okay. Let me Google that. That was a great game. And then you had um, Brady, right, losing to the Rams. Mm -hmm. But they he came back to, to almost – I mean, they tied the ball game at the end and – we th I thought that was going to be. And then, of course, the big one, Chiefs and Bills. Oh, my gosh. I was heartbroken for the Bills. I'm wow. happy for the Chiefs. But, man, what a game. That, was, that might be one of the best games I've ever seen in my life. And I was live tweeting this whole time. I had a good time doing that. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what, what – I mean, it was like anything that happened, I would put a tweet at and hashtag all that stuff. But we had amazing football. Who do you want to see in the Super Bowl? Who do you want? Now you got four teams left. No, I got Kansas City. Kansas City. We've got San Francisco. You got Kansas City, San Francisco, the Bengals, and uh, 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 who am I forgetting? Um, the Rams. 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 Want to um, see? Definitely want to see Joe Burrow. Bengals. And the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> that was another thing. <laughs> Some people say Bengals, yeah, because you know the the, the band, the Bengals. Yeah, it's Bengals. But I hear people say Bengals all the yeah, time. Yeah. Anyway, both are acceptable. I guess so we'll take the Bengals. You want the Bengals uh, versus against the Forty ers or I kind of want the Forty ers because of Jimmy Garoppolo has been. <laughs> Yeah, close enough. They want they want him out so bad. Yeah, but they can't get rid of him because he keeps winning. Yeah, I like I like him. It's, it's hard for me so to root for that city too. though. It's, so close. it's hard for me to root for San Francisco or any loss. I can't root for the California team. That's true. But I would like to see a rematch of the Bengals versus the 49ers. Remember that that was a Super Bowl like in the late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Icky Shuffle, remember that? Yeah. Boomer Esiason. Boomer Esiason, Joe Montana. Of course, they won, but it was a close game. It was like a four-point ball game. So I'd like to see a rematch of that and then see the Bengals win. So I'd like to see the Bengals win the Super Bowl. That's, my, that's, my, that's what I'm rooting for. Uh, although I am going to Kansas City, so uh, I mean, I'm rooting for you guys. <laughs> uh, that was a great – oh, also, um, while I'm thinking about it, we have a winner – and you don't have a dog in this fight, buddy. I don't have a dog and in this fight. There are people fight. upset, mad at you. Yeah. Somehow you skirted the dude war, the sexy photo contest that we had. You're not in it. 
And that was only because you weren't available. You I weren't, weren't available. I wasn't available, but there's word on the street that they could get some picks if they joined the four ninety nine mm-hmm. uh, Patreon. Yeah, after dark. After you dark, get we'll, we'll get him down to his skivvies. We'll be we'll do this thing when he said very that. little on. That's right. That's what we're doing. Okay, so there you heard it. you heard it. You want to see this tall drink of water, uh, half naked? <laughs> be a Patreon supporter. Uh, but look, we finally have a winner. Between the, the four of us. And I'll just announce it right now. Alan, won't you just put up? There it is. Oh. The people have spoken. Yeah. This is the one that everyone, well, the majority of the people chose this one f- to be the page three beauty on the focus. Now, I know. Isaiah, what was the order? Who came in first, second, third, fourth? Give me the rundown. You came in first. Mark Hunt came in second. <laughs> and then Mark Ball came in third, and then I came in fourth. Oh. It's always fun to beat Mark Mark Hunt. I was hoping he'd come in last. Mark, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about me at first. I was about to say you turd. What's that? No, Mark Hunt. I want last. Yeah. I want you. I wanted actually. I wanted Sergeant Havaball to win. Mm-hmm. I was rooting for him. I liked the the the, the uh, what would we call it? Daisy what? Yeah. Uh, God. What was Daisy Crockett? Crockett. Daisy, Daisy Crockett. Crockett. Yeah. <laughs> But you, I, I didn't really notice till right now. These, these are, are these Tonto boots. What, what? I got those in Cherokee. A, I thought they were. Yeah. they were definitely Indian boots. Mm-hmm. I got, uh, yeah, I got that when a I did a gig in Cherokee, and I thought, like, man, that was a good crowd. They paid me a lot of money. I'm going to give back to the to the tribe. Yeah. Buy something at the store. Yeah. And then I, I did, and I found out there was, you know, it's made in India. This is the first time you've worn them. That's probably the second time I've worn okay. them. <laughs> yeah. I gave them to Mark to, to take to the uh, camping trip. I don't know if he wore them, but those are hard to get on and off, dude. That That is <laughs> that is an ordeal. So, But I like the way they look. Oh, anyway, sexy. the people have spoken. Yeah. And now, here's what you got to do. All right? All all of that voting process has led us to, led us to this moment. Now what you got to do is go to country-ish uh, podcast fan page on Facebook, okay? The Alan Jackson. I don't know. We we didn't discuss this, but can we show people what it looks like? Um, sure. Is it too? Are you too too busy? It's okay. <laughs> Just in case you're watching this somewhere else, like on YouTube, or if you're watching this from from uh, my page, what you need to do is go to the country ish Facebook fan page, okay? And Alan's pulling it up. He's going to show you what it looks like, okay? That's it right there. It's always open, baby. So go to that fan page. Make sure you like it. And um, what I want you to do is take that image, and I'll have this up by tomorrow, okay? Take that image and then email it, and I'll put this on that page. Email it to the focus. And just and I'll even put, like, a text of what to copy and paste. You don't even have, have to come up with your own words. I'll I'll have I'll have some text for you to copy and paste, put in your email, send that picture, the one that people voted, number one, and say I I vote this picture for a page three beauty in the focus, and we'll see if we can uh, flood their inbox with the same picture over and over again. Yes, Isaiah. I think it was rigged. Just saying. Uh, I, I tell you, I wasn't voting for me. <clears throat> So, Why would I rig it out if I didn't want to win? I wanted I wanted Sergeant Havaball to win. So maybe we should do like maybe we should print this picture off. Yeah. And then sneak up there one night on their office and just paste it on the on oh. the front windows all over. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Just to kind of just to seal the deal. Seal it. Like this is you know, we're this serious. Is it. Now I mean, we're here to pl- we're like, here. We know you got it in your inbox and guess Don't what? Don't ignore it. It's on your windows now too. Now it's on your windows too. I like it. Can we do it? Can we do it? What if we, hey, no joke. What if this is a billboard in Hickory? Hey. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Joe, there is a billboard, a digital billboard in Newton right digital now. Digital billboard. It says free Joe Exotic. So I'm pretty sure. I've seen this. I, you seen it? Yes. 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 Who's I, behind this? I don't know, but they're paying a bunch of money. But I'm sure we could get enough support to put this. Yeah. I mean, okay. So now, now, now not this could only... cause Rex, though. I'm nervous oh, about yeah, this causing yeah, Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we have to have a disclaimer: not responsible for any auto accidents yeah. due to this picture. <laughs> Accidentes? Uh, uh, hey, but that, that could be the next sponsor because underneath we're going to have the, uh, some insurance company. Yeah, right. <laughs> we get a lawyer. We get a lawyer to sponsor this. Oh yeah, yeah. Accidents Joe, happen. Joe, what's his name? 
Are you in pain? Called <laughs> Stamp. What is that? DeMayo? Yeah, Dawson's Dawson. <laughs> Michael DeMayo. But look, <laughs> new goal, not just the focus, page three. I want to be on a billboard. So, Adam, we'll talk about that yeah. later. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I'll add that to my to-do list. Yeah, yeah right. So, yeah. <laughs> but that, you know, I know that's like a very long list. but No, no, it's good. All yeah. right, let's move on to our next segment. Actually, our first segment of the show. Um, what I do here is I go to Twitter, click on your hashtag. I find what it is you're talking about, and then uh, we talk about it right here. It's how you know we're current. We're in the know. We're keeping up with what is going on, the Joneses and whatnot. It is a segment that I like to call, Ooh, it's the best trends. Here's what you're talking about. All right, dude. Hashtag meatloaf. R.I.P. Meatloaf. Died uh, not long ago. Um, I forgot how old he was. Probably 68 or something. 75. 75. I was very really? close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't know his age because he didn't really reveal it. Like Elliot over here doesn't like for people to know how old he is. But... Um, you know, I, I dig me some meatloaf. I liked, of course, and I would do anything Damn, for hell. I'd walk right through hell and back. Right? You like that? Yeah. I like the older oh, stuff better. Me. Uh, did you like meatloaf, Isaiah? I liked meatloaf, but I didn't like that version. That <laughs> was pretty good. <laughs> what? Give me that damn thing. <laughs> Take that from him. I'm it's having too, you're fun being with too that. negative. <laughs> I wonder what uh, that one thing was that I always wondered what that one thing was that he wouldn't do. Yeah. He yeah. said, I will do anything for love, but I won't, I won't do, do that. that. And now we'll he, never know. He says it at the beginning of the song. We had that conversation. I think it's anal. Is it? <laughs> he won't no, do I don't believe it is. He won't do, he'll do he anything won't receive else. It. He won't receive it. But he'll give it. <laughs> yeah, he's very specific. He's like, I won't do that. Yeah. I'll do anything. I and thought I always thought he, he wouldn't eat meatloaf because that would be like a you know corn. I mean, you're eating your own like a, like what do you call them? People eat their oh, you know, cannibals. 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 Cannibals be like a cannibal yeah. if you're meatloaf and you're eating meatloaf. <laughs> right. Maybe that's why he was singing. I would do anything for loaf. Loaf. Yeah. <laughs> he was actually a vegan. Of course he was. Buzzkill. I'm going to nickname you Buzzkill. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sticking the mud stamos oh, over here. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, he was a vegan? Yes, sir. That's hilarious. There at the end for the last several years. That didn't work out. Didn't work well. out. That's why I'm eating them. <laughs> how Meat. did he pass away? Do we know how he died? Did, did they say, have they said that yet? Does anybody no, know? Do Google it. No, sir. Sergeant have a ball. I want to know and how he died. While I'm looking at that real quick, the correction, it was 74. He was going to turn 75 this year. Okay, well, he's close. E e either way, it's sad because I liked him, and he was a crazy dude. Um, he was crazy. If you want to know how crazy, how crazy I didn't know how he? crazy he was until I watched. Uh, God, what was it? Uh, Celebrity uh, Road Rules or something like that. It was um, no, it was the Trump Show. The what Apprentice. Was Celebrity, Celebrity Apprentice. Apprentice. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't know he was, he on, was on. He was on a season with Gary Busey. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that was. Pot and kettle. And you're like, which is crazier? Mm. Busey was a little crazier. I think Busey was crazier, but he had a temper. Mm. And there was a there was an episode where he went off on Gary Busey. It was like just, <laughs> he, I thought he was going to rip his head off. And Busey was just sitting there taking it, you know. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how to uh, process that information. But did you find out anything? Yeah, it was complications of COVID. He passed away in uh, Nashville. Ah, mm. Nashville. Okay. Well, R.I.P., Meatloaf. What's some of your fondest memories of meatloaf, Elliot? When I was a kid, I would go and, and lived in Ohio. I would go to this department store called Hills, and I would just stare at the Bad Out of Hell picture for as long as my parents would leave me there. Mm, the the yeah. poster for it, I just... Just like looking at it. Exactly. What about the music? Oh, I love the music. Oh, yeah. I, uh, you took the words the right picture. out of my mouth, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, also, Louis Anderson passed away. Oh, I and love Louis Anderson. So my buddy Kyle Davis, who's going to zoom in here in a minute, Got some great Louis Anderson stories because mm -hmm. he was good friends with him. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into those in a minute. So stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget residual checks. Someone is winning money um, in a great small town news story coming up. But uh, also hashtag Kid Rock, baby. <clears throat> Kid Rock is back in the news. Yes, Kid Rock releases a new single all about the Biden administration and COVID-19 policies. Um, 
And I didn't, you know, what I honestly, well, this just happened, all right? It is uh, 8.27 p.m., 25th of January. I come in here. I start doing a little show prep. I kind of wait to the last minute to see what, what is actually trending, and this, this just popped up. Um, and I only found out, not only did I do that, but there's another guy on Twitter, some dude I don't know, but he's got uh, half, no, quarter of a million followers. This guy named Tony Poznanski. I don't know him. I don't know what he does. But he's got a lot of followers. He's verified. And he said, Kid Rock has a new song out, and you can hear it when he performs at the grand opening of Just Breaks in Hickory, North Carolina. <laughs> He will also be selling cassettes out of his mom's car after the performance. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know who this dude is. I don't know why he's throwing Hickory, North Carolina in the mix. Just Breaks went out of business, bro, like 15 years ago. Did we ever have a Just yeah. Breaks? Yeah, yeah, Just oh, Breaks. You okay. can only get breaks, but they, they broke down, I think. <laughs> just, they broke, huh? <laughs> they worked too good. They were. They just, <laughs> they just never, broke themselves. They broke themselves. Um, yeah, so I'm like, what? What what what's he talking about? And then I looked up. I saw Kid Rock was trending. I'm like, oh snap! So he has a new song out. Like I said, all about it. And I look, I can't play it on here. Number one, I don't own it. We'll get we'll get you know flagged for copyright stuff. But if you play a little bit of it, the Alan Jackson, while I talk over it and give you the lyrics, okay. okay. Here's the lyrics of the new song. It's called We the People. It says, We the people, and all we do, reserve the right to scream F you. Uh, you wear your mask, take your pills. Now a whole generation's mentally ill. Man, F Fauci. Uh, he's going for it, man. He is going all out. He goes, but COVID's near. It's coming to town. we got to act quick, shut our borders down. Joe Biden does, the media embraces. Big Don does it, and they call him a racist. Oh, oh, oh. Man, he's spitting rhymes. He goes, we the people. And then there's a chant where it goes, let's go, Brandon. So that's in the song. Uh, he goes, F Facebook, F Twitter too, and the mainstream media, F you too. He said two twice. Uh, we the people, we the people. Inflation's up. Like the minimum wage, so it's all the same. It ain't no damn thing changed. You piece of S. I don't see color. Black lives matter. No S, mother trucker. <laughs> so I had to clean it up. <laughs> yeah. I like that sentiment, yeah. though. It's like, of course, black lives matter. We, we know this. He goes, but we got to keep fighting for the right to be free, and every human being doesn't have right to agree. We all bleed red, brother. Listen to me. It's time for love and unity. He goes on to FCNN, FTMZ. I mean, he's going for it. Kid Rock is being Kid Rock, and it's out there, and it's he's stirring the pot. He's man. stirring. As Kid Rock is this pot stirring right about now. So um, you're not going to hear this on the radio anytime. No, so I don't think they're going to play. It's not going to be on the on the radio. Uh, I Heart Radio. No. Oh well, it could be on iHeartRadio, um, but we don't know. But the, it is, I like how he's incorporating the "Let's Go Brandon" in this. Yeah. Um, so I want to know what you guys think of this. What are your thoughts? Because it's Kid Rock is div divisive or divisive. I think he's. How do you pronounce that divisive. word? The Alan Jackson. Is it divisive or divisive? I'm pretty sure it's divisive. It is. Yeah, I've because heard it means divisive yeah. before. To yeah. divide. Maybe so should, divisive. Yeah. It's divisive. Long he eye. is divisive. Yes. Right. So there are people who are like making fun of Kid Rock, like this dude yeah. who was making fun of Kid Rock for performing at a Just Breaks. And there are people like, well, yeah, I agree with everything he says in this song. So, I, But I want to know how you feel. You know did what I'm you saying? Tweet, did you tweet back that guy and tell him Kid Rock could play at the Monarchy any time in here if he wanted to? <laughs> I replied back to him. Did you? I said, ha, 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 that's right, and I'm opening for him. <laughs> January 27th. Get tickets at johnreed.com. So I'm hoping that people see that and think, what? And it's at Shelby. Yeah. Because I'll be in Shelby. It's close to Hickory. So maybe I'll get a ticket or two. To sell out of this. Anyway, um, yeah. You know, and for the record, in case you're curious, I've been vaccinated. You know, you have the right to do what you want, your body. I, I, I'm cool with all that. But in case you're wondering, should I go to a John Reap show? Is it safe? I've been vaccinated. I've been boosted. I drink Lysol and Windex before I go on stage. I take a rapid test, and then I reveal I have COVID for the eighth time. 
<laughs> but I do all I can to let you know you're, you're acceptable to come to my show. However you fall on the spectrum of all of that. Yes, Elliot, your hand is raised. Do you ever drink any EcoSan, though? Oh, yeah. No, put that on the list. i got to okay. get me some EcoSan. Will do. Yes, yeah. Sir. Apparently, i got to go to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yes, sir. Get me some EcoSan. <laughs> then go to the uh, Just Breaks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know what you think. That's what's trending. Also, it's National Florida Day, dude. Did you know that? I, I mean, you're a Florida guy. I did not even know. I didn't get the. I didn't get the text message from Florida. January as a 25th, National Florida Day. I don't know what that means, yeah, but you yeah. know, that's the Sunshine State. I guess that's what it became part of America. Uh, so happy National Florida Day to you. It's also National Plan for a Vacation Day. Um, it's National Opposite Day. Ooh, I like this. Or is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Why is there a national opposite day? I op- I'm opposed. I am opposed to opposite day. Are you? Or am I? <laughs> Maybe I'm saying the opposite of what I think. It's national opposite day. Hmm. That's dumb. Uh, also, national Irish coffee day. Ooh, uh, now. Now we're talking. So you see this coffee mug sitting right here? Got me some Irish coffee. You got some Irish I got some Irish coffee. coffee. Mark Havaball brought us all the goodies to make an Irish coffee. Now, what's yes, in this? And speak into the microphone, please. Okay, normally there's four ingredients, but th- with this one, it's only three. Mm. So it's hot coffee, Irish whiskey, which we got the Jamesons right here. Okay. And then I end up using uh, Irish cream. Yeah. Uh, the other ingredient would be sugar, whether it's brown sugar or regular sugar. But uh, because the Irish cream is set up where it's so sweet, I just use that rather than put the additional sugar in there. Hmm. Well, thank you. I haven't tasted any of this yet, and I appreciate you making it. Sergeant, have a ball. Cheers to you guys. Happy National Irish Coffee Day, wherever you are. Let me get a sip. It's pretty good. Prost. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You put a lot of that Jameson in there. Yeah. Stout, dude. Ugh! That just burned <laughs> off all my avelia, or whatever that's called. The little hairs in your throat. Gone. Mm. Gone. Oh, speaking of hair gone, got my hair cut. I know, you didn't yeah. say anything. I noticed it earlier. Like I didn't know if you I was supposed to. Well, it's okay. Sometimes I miss it. Well, I, I'm i a little hurt. I know. That you didn't comment on my appearance. But also, that could be body shaming. You didn't know how I would take I it. I know. I didn't want to say, hey, are you losing it, or did you get it cut? <laughs> Right. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. But what do you think? I love it, dude. Yeah, I like it too. It's, yeah, you know, S- silky. Smooth. I like having long mullet type hair. Sometimes but it's also like I'm, it's I'm so almost much fifty, upkeep, and I dude. wake up and I look in the mirror and I see this hair going everywhere. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? And you're making some of your friends feel bad. Oh, that's true. They've lost a lot of their hair. Yeah, that's what I feel bad about. You mean Jason Reap? Yeah, you're like your brother. <laughs> My brother. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, happy National All That Crap Day. All right. Let's move on to the ne- next segment. Um, I got a little intern sitting over here who's been a little, uh, been a little turd today. <laughs> He's a drizzling turd. In the punch bowl. In the punch bowl. In the punch bowl. Um, his name is Isaiah. He's 20 years old, and he works at Lowe's. He's, uh, I don't know what you do over there. Are you bagging stuff? Are you stocking stuff? What are you doing at Lowe's? I stock stuff. You stock stuff. And also... What I thought I'd make him do is watch and just like that on HBO. Something that he would not watch. This this lovely, sweet little baby faced twenty year old millennial. That's what I like to call him. He's not a millennial, he's like a redneck millennial. Hmm. Maybe you might even be that. You might be Gen Z. Yeah, I think I'm Gen, Gen Z. Z Dixie. Well, what is the- That's what you are. <laughs> Whatever you are. Dixie. <laughs> Gen Z Dixie. So anyway, I make him watch uh, And Just Like That on HBO, and he gives us a little book report. Let's check this out. The Alan Jackson. I think we have an open. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This is nuts. <laughs> Think of something. You gotta start coming up with something. Yeah, I have to start because right, I don't want to have to fill in for you. I know you're doing the book report, but also think of that. All right, all, all right, buddy. Isaiah, what you got for me today? So I watched episode six of Sex and the, and just like oh, that, Sex in the city, right. Sex. <laughs> yeah, I got and, you. And uh, and just like that, I would rather watch Koda Abushi wrestle a sex doll than forty <laughs> minutes of this nonsense. Now. Look, 
Uh, for those Wait, of you, I need the uh, reference. Just, yeah, well, I was going to explain gotcha. it. So, for those of you that didn't get the Kota Ibushi reference, this guy is a terrible wrestler from Japan, and this idiot actually wrestled a daggum sex doll. Oh, uh, like, like look it up that. on YouTube. It's awful, and it has like one million views. Did the sex doll win? <laughs> No, uh, K- Koda won. Was it a blowout? <laughs> uh, I'd like to see that. Yeah, look yeah. that one up. Uh, Mark, have a ball. Look up that video he's talking about, and then uh, send that to me in an email. Uh, continue. <laughs> oh, it's funny. All right. Anyway, the first five minutes of the show was terrible and boring. It wasn't even worth putting pen to paper. Mm-hmm. It took Carrie three whole months to find an apartment, and she doesn't even like the apartment. So not only is this woman crazy for living in New York City, but she is also extremely picky. Yeah. That's a female, That's a female thing. thing. Yeah. 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 Sorry, we'll, ladies. We'll we educate you. you are. Yeah, everything's going to be perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. So every time I watch this episode, I, or every time I watch an episode of this, I'm reminded of why I never want to visit NYC. Hmm, okay. It's a shit stain on the map. <laughs> I'd rather visit Hurley, Virginia than this hellhole. Okay. On the bright side, seven minutes in, we see the drizzling turd in the punch bowl Miranda. Yeah. And this citified yuppie is walking in the park with her professor. Nye Wallace is her name. But anyway, Nye and Miranda are walking in the park. N- so Nye? Naya, N-Y-A. 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 Did you hear Naya? Naya. <coughs> I heard Naya. Naya. I heard like the number Naya. nine. Naya. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Naya and Miranda are walking in the park uh-huh. sipping their coffee. And Naya yeah. says, I'm spearheading a home for displaced women and children. And I love this part. Oh, okay. Oh. Surprise, Ooh. surprise. But I mean, this woman is doing a good deed for her community. So at this moment, I decided to do two things. Mm -hmm. First thing is that I decided to give this episode a three out of four, regardless of what else happens. Oh, Mm. well, this is the highest score ever Mm. by intern Isaiah. Okay, keep going. I'm intrigued. And then the second thing is that I decided to create another list. Uh Mm. And I'm going to call this list the I kind of like these people list. (laughs) Right. Okay, so this is your first time tuning in, Isaiah. On his own, created a hate list, <laughs> and he started writing things down that he hates yeah. about the show, characters, things. Oh. And I'm like, wh- he wrote down the same name three times. Anyway, that one was puzzling. And now he's come up with a, I kind of like these people list. Uh, uh, I, and I can see the list. We've got Na, or Naya, but you pronounce it Na. And then we have Steve. Steve. Which is Miranda's husband. Yeah, he's the one that, uh, I believe it was in the third episode, Miranda was like fixing these healthy Sundays, and she's like, do you want uh, chia seeds on your Sunday?" And right. Steve was like, chia seeds are bullshit. Uh, I don't want that. Yeah. So that's why I put him down. Okay. Because I liked him saying Because you don't that. like chia seeds. Right. <laughs> okay. And I've never had a chia seed, but <laughs> I can already tell they're off. I, I, I may have had one before. I don't know. No big deal. But, but anyway, kudos to Naya. I like that you have a new list. Okay. And then flash forward to around flash 17 forward. minutes into the show. <laughs> Wait, we time s- out. <laughs> I, I, I picked up on it, too. It's not the first time he said that. <laughs> is that, is that a dude? I like it. I like it, Here's too. Here's what I love about it. Okay. <laughs> he said flash forward. Now, what you would typically do is fast, fast forward, forward yeah. or have a flash back. Yeah. He has com- combined a flashback <laughs> and with the fast forward. forward and has come up with flash forward. forward. I love it. It could be a I don't super. Know how you do that? Maybe you can make a superhero out of this guy. Flash <laughs> yeah. forward. Flash forward. He's coming. He's coming or he's going <laughs> to. Don't a, know. <laughs> either way, he's it's coming really... or he's going to a town near you. <laughs> flash forward. <laughs> he saved every one of us. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Flash forward. 17 minutes into the show, we see Naya and her husband, Andre, and they're having dinner with this couple. And Andre, sa- yeah. and Andre says, we come here all the time. You're going to love this place. And their friend, I'm not sure what his name is, so I'm just going to call this feller Dinosaur Nugget. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why dinosaur nugget? Well, I'll tell you. Okay. So dinosaur nugget <laughs> says, as long as it's not dinosaur shaped nuggets and mac and cheese, I'm good. Wait, did you say? Dino- did you say dinosaur? dinosaur? Di- yeah, it's, that's because that's a person. Dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, Di- not dinosaur. I have a ball right now. Google <laughs> Dinah Shore. Sure. I believe that may be Polly Shore's niece. <laughs> I don't think it's Polly's niece, but I think it might be his Who aunt. is Dinah Shore? She was, I think it's a real person. She it is, is, of course. Dinah Shore it used to be the Who Dinah Shore show. Oh, yeah. yeah you know Dinah Shore. Yeah. Dinah Shore. Everybody so knows. you didn't mean to do that just now. No, d- Dinah You were trying to say dinosaur. Yeah. And yeah. It's, oh, this is great. And it sounded like Dinah Shore. And yeah. this is but supposed dinosaur. to be the opposite day. Yeah. So, but day. Why, is you, why, why are you calling this guy... Dinosaur nuggets. Because he mentioned dinosaur nuggets. Because he said, as long as it's not dinosaur nuggets mm-hmm. and mac and cheese, I'm good. Yeah, why, why, why would he think that it's dinosaur nuggets? I don't know. They make but the bad question yeah. is, is what's wrong with dinosaur nuggets and mac and cheese? That shit's the bomb. dot com. Well, you're like, <laughs> you like mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. But that's just a dumb joke to say dinosaur I mean, nuggets. I mean, for the show, not you. You're I live off that what, stuff. You love nuggets. You never had a dinosaur <laughs> nugget in your life. You've had chicken nuggets. <laughs> you big goofy. I live Some of them McDonald's nuggets, nuggets are 60 million years old. They could be dinosaur nuggets. <laughs> 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 oh, I see what you did. Yeah, so just McDonald's nuggets. <laughs> they're not old, yeah, man. They're they're so old, they're they don't decay. They don't live forever. They're prehistoric. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, dinosaur nugget or whatever your name is, you're a drizzling turd in the punch bowl, <laughs> and you made the hate list. Yeah, I don't know why I hit that. <laughs> I, it's, it goes on for a minute. <laughs> can you throw this in the trash can? <laughs> I'll get it later. All right. So then, about twenty-eight to twenty-nine minutes into the show, Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte are having a picnic, and it's a pretty crummy picnic. These yuppies brought wine and cheese to a picnic. Hmm. What's wrong so, with that? Hold on. What you do. Well, how, do these poor people know that you're supposed to bring KFC to a picnic? Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. a must-have. You bring KFC to every picnic. You know why? Because it's fried chicken, and everybody loves fried chicken. Okay. Not everybody. By the way, KFC, everybody loves K- fried KFC chicken. KFC is also coming out with a vegetarian uh, chicken. It's a mm. non-meat chicken. Are you going to eat that, too? KFC, you're a drizzling turn in the punch bowl. <laughs> but, no, listen, I like wine and cheese. I also love well, that's KFC. that's for a romantic picnic. Sure, but weren't they on it? Was that not a romantic picnic? No, it's just it's three two, friends. Two girls. No, yeah. it was uh, Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte, so there was three of them. Three girls. And, they're, of course, they're going to eat wine and cheese. That's what, that's what girls do in New York City. got to eat KFC. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you a cheese board one day. I want, oh, we need to do this. A segment. Isaiah. Eats a bunch of cheese. Oh yeah, and we're gonna get brie. We're gonna get mm. all kinds of gouda, gouda, you know, blue cheese, uh, all kinds of random cheeses. I'm gonna make you eat it. Okay. All right. Get ready for that. All right. <laughs> if you so, need a, need a volunteer to go to Europe to secure some of these cheeses, I know some spots. <laughs> Did you find out who Donna Shore was? Yes, she's a TV personality. She's an actress and a singer. Wow. She had her. She was. Early into the uh, talk shows and such. Yeah, uh, I thought that was a real name. Yeah, she yeah. had the Dinah Shore show, okay. uh, the Chevy show. She's worked with Ed Sullivan, uh, okay. Ron right. Martin. Um, flash forward a little bit to the end. So Miranda and, Char- <laughs> and Charlotte get into a cat fight because Miranda confesses that she had sex with Shay. Mm-hmm. And Miranda gets mad and goes to walk away, but Carrie convinces her to stay. And then Miranda and, Shay, or Miranda and Charlotte kiss and make up. They mass menches this time. No, they don't mash men. Like I'm, you know what I mean. They like. Yeah, yeah. They just kissed on the lips. No, they didn't kiss. Oh, oh, but they 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 got along at the end. Yeah. Yeah, they be, they were, they stayed friends. And then at the end of the show, we see Carrie, and she puts on this big fancy necklace, and says, "And just like that, I remembered how much I love the last fifteen years." And she's back in her and Mister Big Man's apartment, and then the show ends. Oh, okay. Mm. Now mm. you already told us uh, the rating system is uh, figure fours figure fours how many figure fours does uh intern isaiah give this episode he said three out of four so this is the highest rated one so far episode number six how many do we have left four i think there's uh, three more yeah three three more all right well hang in there isaiah appreciate your book report uh clap for yourself that was intern isaiah Redneck reviews. All right. Uh, is he here? 
We got him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, He's good. In. So this is my buddy. Um, let me introduce uh, who's going to be zooming in right about now. So this is my best friend in Los Angeles. We did a movie called Into the Storm together. He's an actor. Uh, we also did... Um, we had a little podcast for a minute called Brink and Duddies. Mm -hmm. We'd get together and get drunk and talk. And I love him. And when I was in L.A., we, were, we hung out. And this dude was best friends for a while. Well, I wouldn't say best friends. Very, very close um, to Louis Anderson, who just passed away. And he's going to zoom in and uh, give us some uh, stories about... Is he? Yep. He okay. uh, just showed up in the room. Who's zooming? I'll tell you who's zooming. Kyle Davis. Hey, Kyle, what's up, buddy? What's up, Johnny Five? How you doing, man? I'm um, just delightful on yourself. Good. One of the reasons I wanted to have you zoom in today is because I knew that you were good friends with Louis Anderson. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been really sad. I think for a lot of people, because uh, he touched a lot of people's hearts, honestly. I mean, you know, the comedian, pretty much any comedian loves Louis Anderson. He's just, he, he was very similar from what I hear. To, I didn't know Bob Saget, but I know Bob Saget had a very big heart, loved everybody, would call and talk to you on the phone, give you anything you need. And uh, that's kind of how, when I first moved out here in 1998 to Los Angeles, my friend in the building I lived in, uh, his name was John as well. His his name was John Quinlan, actually, if you're watching, buddy. I, I fell out of touch with him, but uh, I don't know if he wrote for wrote for Louie or did something, but he was acquaintances with him somehow or friends. And uh, I remember Louie was having a party and John was like, hey, Kyle, you want to come to this party with uh, Louie Anderson? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, literally, I've done nothing. I just moved out here. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to meet a celebrity. This is so cool. I love Louis Anderson. So we go there and uh, and the, it was like a smaller party. I remember there being like probably like 40 or 50 people there. But like every famous comedian you you would know, like I think Carrot Top was there. Nick Swardstrom, like all these people, because, you know, Nick Swardstrom is from Minneapolis. So is Louis. So they were like that was his mentor as yeah. well. I didn't, but uh, so I remember we went up there. And he had bottles of Cristal champagne. And I don't even know if I was 21 yet. <laughs> wow. Cristal champagne. I was like, that's like $100 a bottle. <laughs> I was just drinking glass after glass. I remember he introduced me to Louie. We kind of like hit it off. We were talking. And I was giving everybody hugs, giving him hugs. And uh, he's a hugger as well. I feel like uh, bigger people, they just have the best hugs. I don't know if you <laughs> Huh. I'm going to start paying attention to that because yeah, well, ever since COVID, I stopped <laughs> hugging as much, but I used to be a pretty good hugger. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start paying attention to that. No, I think you're a good hugger too, but I feel like when you hug them, you just kind of like sink in. I don't know. It's just like a good warm <laughs> feeling. I, that's why they call them bear hugs because it's just a good, yeah. good feeling. Yeah. I don't So he had the best hugs and just a warm heart. And I remember he, I gave him my phone number because I was like, I was like, man, I want to get, uh, I, I was like new. I was like, maybe you can like help me get an agent manager and blah, blah, blah. And needless to say, we ended up becoming really, really good friends, really close friends. And I started hanging out with him like three or four times a week. I'd go up to his house because he was a pretty famous person. Yeah. So he didn't want to go out anywhere because, you know, you go out fans kind of bug you. So we'd always just sit up, in his place and uh, order pizza and uh, just talk about life, man. Just, and he would just try to like mentor me and be like, okay, Kyle, here's what you need to do. You need to get this agent over here. I need to get you this manager. And then you need to <laughs> I'll tell this one quick story too, really quick. So he had a pool up in his Doheny place. It was only about three and a half feet deep, yeah. small little pool. We'd be out there. I mean, I guess I guess you can't really say swimming because it's so so shallow. But we'd be swimming or just hanging out, floating around. And then uh, I remember I was kind of at the other edge of the pool, and he's like, "Kyle, you're drowning! I'm gonna save you!" Like, what? <laughs> what, you, what? What are you talking about, dude? He's like, "Oh, Kyle, I'm coming!" And I was like, "No, what? <laughs> get away I'm, from me!" 
as fast as possible like a big old shark is coming after me it was just funny stuff like that and uh well i mean so, i know you guys hung out a while uh you you like to play poker didn't he like to play poker as well yeah so so <laughs> i have so many louis stories but he was like hey he's like hey kyle i want to go and gamble at the casino he's like can you drive and i was like oh i was like that's pretty far man and i was like I was like, I don't, I was like, I don't really have any money either to gamble. He's like, I'll give you money and gas money. And I was like, okie dokie, let's go. <laughs> yeah. We, we drove up to that. What's that casino in Palm Springs? The Indian casino. Is it Chumash or. It's not Juana? Pachanga, is it? Pachanga? Oh, Pachanga. I think you're right. I think it's Pachanga. Yeah. Pachanga. <clears throat> so one day we just drove up there and, uh, he sat down. He loved video poker. That was like his favorite thing to play. So I remember he just had a stack of cash and uh, he just like peeled off and gave me a couple hundred. He's like, okay, go gamble. Come back in a little bit or whatever. So uh, let me remind you, this is, a, this is a while ago. I hadn't done like nothing. I was broke. So I remember I took one of the hundreds. I was like, I'm going to pocket that. That'll pay for <laughs> the price. And I took the other hundred and I put it in. I would gamble. Lost it. I came back. Louis had just hit a royal flush for four thousand dollars. Oh wow! So, oh, and he, I just stood there because I didn't want to ask him for money. I was just standing there, and he's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Did you lose the money already?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, I just won the royal flush, so he gave me peeled off like three hundred more dollars." <laughs> I once again put away a little bit, but since it was like free money, I was gambling a little higher than I should. I was going to like dollar machines and betting max spin to try to win a lot of money. So I lost it right away. And then I just walked around for a little bit because I didn't want to come back and annoy him. Like, just stand over his shoulder. <laughs> right. But eventually I came back because I was like, oh. And he's like, did you lose it already? And peeled off more money. Wow, I mean, he probably, what a nice guy. He probably gave me $1,000. Wow. And uh, I kept about 500 of that. <laughs> I, I told him that on the car ride home. But, uh, yeah, so he, I think he eventually left and he, he probably – left for like two thousand dollars up and then we just drove home that's like a good two hour drive we were just sitting there chatting yeah about the blah 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 and now we'll get to the poker store so yes he had a lot of poker little poker gatherings at his house a lot of comics would be there we used to just sit out on his patio me and i brought my friend Devin there and uh we would just sit out there there'd be six or seven of us and just shoot the shit and just play poker yeah all night until the wee hours of the morning and uh i'm jealous because i never got to meet him by the time i came to la it was 2000 he was already gigantic famous you know what year what year are you talking about when y'all when you first met him like what year 98 98 yeah okay yeah man i was just bummed because i i heard about it a few days earlier that he was in the hospital and not feeling well but i was like I read about the, the cancer that he had, and I was like, oh, it's one of the most curable cancers, non, <clears throat> non-Hodgkin's non lymphoma. I think it's a blood disease. Oh, is that what he had? I, w I wasn't even aware. Okay. So I heard about that, and then I was like, oh, he's going to be good. And I, I reached out to him on a text message and uh, never heard back from him because then, obviously, he was not, not doing well at all. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that Pauly Shore had tweeted out, and uh and tweeted out i just said my his family was nice enough to let me inside i said my goodbyes pray for him he's still with us but uh not much longer and i was just like i just fell awful and i knew right away i was like oh that's that's it and i stayed up all night that night until like five in the morning and was drinking and uh and then i passed out and i woke up at like eight in the morning because my kid had to go to school and my wife told me she's like hey louie passed away oh. It's a bummer. I still, I, the, for the past couple of days, I just keep waking up and I'm like, man, he's really gone. Yeah. Never going to, never going to see him again. So the one good thing, get to always see his stuff on YouTube, Netflix. It's just always around. So. Yeah. Yeah. They were showing um, clips of him doing stand up, and uh, I forgot he had, he had one of the best stand up sets on a tonight show ever. Yeah. I mean, the first joke got such big, applause and laughter that there was no way he could not do well after i mean he came out and he, you know he looks how he looks he sounds how he sounds and he said sorry i don't have a whole lot of time out 
right out here. I'm in between meals. <laughs> yeah. And that just was like, and I was like, that is a perfect start, a, 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 a perfect way to start a set. The perfect first jug for him. And it's so, it, even to this day, it's known as one of the best comedy sets on the, on the tonight show ever. Yeah. I, Watched it two nights ago, like the night he passed away, and I was just dying laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone loves Louis Anderson. Everyone's coming out with their favorite Louis Anderson stories. I know you got some more in you. What, what can you tell me? Another Louis Anderson story? Yeah, I have a a lot more, but I'll tell this one because I I just think it's fun. So I used to live in Hollywood, literally a block behind Hollywood Boulevard on Wilcox and uh, Hollywood Boulevard. So he would come over and on some of the rare occasions that we did go out to like go grab lunch, there was this one car wash. I forget. It might've been on sunset, but there was like a burrito stand right next to it. I can't remember. Maybe it was in North Hollywood, but we were going over there and he picked me up and I, I was like, Lou, just go. Cause this is before like GPS. I was like, I was like, just go down Hollywood Boulevard in this one way. It's quicker. And he's like, no, he's like, it's like, if I do that and we stop at a red light, people are going to recognize me. And I was like, no, because in me, I was like, I was like, you're famous, but you're not that famous. That's what I was thinking. And uh, so he listened to me. Sure enough, we were the first car at a stoplight on Hollywood and Highland. This is before the complex. This is probably like 2002 or something like that. Stopped at the stoplight. Tourists are crossing the street. Next thing you know, hey, Louis Anderson, Louis. <laughs> So literally the red light people come up are taking pictures with them. And uh, I was like, and he looked at me and was like, I told you. <laughs> and uh, don't get me wrong. He loved his fans, but he also loved, you know, his privacy. And uh, <laughs> like for me, it felt really cool. Cause I was like, Oh shit. I'm with like a huge celebrity. They're taking pictures. I'd never, never been in that before, but he, he never took Hollywood Boulevard after that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's great, dude. Thanks for uh, zooming in and thanks for telling me these amazing um, Louis Anderson stories. Um, in case anybody's uh, wanting to keep up with Kyle, where can people follow you and what's going on? Oh, you can follow me on uh, on Facebook uh, at Lil Kevin Ramis. Mm -hmm. Still have that's my number one page. You can follow me just on my personal page, Kyle Davis, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Shade Donkey. Shade, shade donkey shade like donkey exactly one word but like a shade tree and then a donkey that's it all right thank you thanks johnny boy love you thank Alan. you Kyle. hey there are you a business owner do you have a product that you're trying to sell well maybe i could help you I've got over 350,000 followers across all my social media, and every episode of Country-ish We Do gets thousands of views. So if you have a product that you want me to try on the show or to talk about, go to countryish.com, click on Sponsorship, and maybe your stuff could be right here on my stuff. Hey! That thing got a hybrid? Yeah. Yeah! Come on! We're out of gas! Again? Yeah, it's a hybrid. Sometimes you just gotta move on. All right, we're back. Uh, love me some Kyle Davis. Uh, yeah, he was also uh, Little Kev the mentally challenged white rapper on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I love the guy. He was my next door neighbor pretty much when I lived in LA. And uh, like me, he has a little uh, acid reflux. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, in the inner, I just know him, I'm used to it, but he was doing a lot of, <clears throat> you know, that happens. I do yeah. it on this show all the time. Uh, so in case you're wondering, yes. And also he is blind in one eye. Uh, he got jumped when he was younger. So in case there's people like uh, you know in the comments that are talking about that, he'll be the first to tell you. I'll, one eye blind. He'll tell you the whole story. Yeah, he got beat up by like six guys one time um, uh, when he was younger. So anyway, he's lucky to be alive, and I'm lucky to have him as a friend, uh, Kyle Davis. All righty, then. Um, 
Have we taken an ad break already? We did do that, right? Yes, we did. Yeah, we did the ad break. Um, But what we should also do is uh, let people know. I do another podcast from time to time with my friend John Hereford. It's called Hereford and Rape. And we go live every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. And we went live last night with uh, another funny comedian named Alonzo Bowden, who was a winner of Last Comic Standing. And we got to talk about massage parlors. Check it out. Have you guys, as a travel thing, have you ever traveled with a um, lacrosse ball in your computer bag and put that on the wall and you roll your, your back and you find the, the part that's a little tight with the lacrosse ball? Have you, did, no, did I did that, that with a golf ball. I did it yeah. with a golf ball for my foot, though. I broke yeah, it's my amazing. foot and part of the um, uh, therapy was rolling my foot on top of a golf ball. Oh, I haven't no heifer or or Alonzo. I haven't really traveled. I I I if I feel if I have time on a Sunday or Saturday, if you know, I'll if there's the one close by, I'll go get a massage. I used to get them all the time, but um, not so much th- therapy on myself. You know, I, I haven't really tried the ball stuff. But uh, I jo- am I am worried about going to a massage place. I am just convinced. It'll be one of those rub and tug places, yeah. and it'll get raided while I'm yeah. in there. I just, I'm just my luck isn't yeah. good enough to go to a random massage place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, they, if, if their store hours, if the hours to the spot are super small on a sticker on the door, that's a legit place. If it's a big open sign, uh, yeah, don't go in. <laughs> big open sign and neon. Yeah. Color lights, in shit. Yeah. yeah, 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 and then just just watch videos on human trafficking, and you'll just go. I don't know how those <laughs> places are, are open. And that was Hereford and Reap. Check us out every Monday night live, uh, Hereford and Reap dot com, and uh, might as well subscribe and share that one as well. All right, dude, it's time to give money away also don't forget crazy crazy story about a man who fought off a bear in florida we're going to get to that at the end but first it's time to give money away i got three residual checks sitting over here now here's if you're just joining me for the first time all right number one thanks for thanks for tuning in uh, I've done some acting in my time, been in some movies, been in some sitcoms, commercials, voiceovers, hosting, uh, some adult films, uh, all kinds of stuff that I've done. And they, when they air them, they have to pay you. They're called residual checks, and I made a game out of it, right? But what I'll do is I'll open one of these checks. I'll let my man Sebastian here choose one at random. We've got three sitting here. So I'm not going to pick it. He's going to pick it. He'll hand it to me. I'll open it. I'll tell you what it's for, how it's airing, and then Alan will put a phone number up on the screen. You start calling in, and then I'll take three callers, and the person with the closest guess to the amount of this residual check will win the check. I will literally sign it over to you and put it in the mail, and you will win the check, okay? It is a game. Hmm. <clears throat> It is a game that we like to call How How Much much Is That that Screen Actors Guild Residual Residual. Check Check. All right I have three to choose from Yeah I'm going in the middle Okie dokie All right not opened. Don't know how much it is. What Big is money. For. Big money. But we'll see. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, the country-ish squad do some in-house guessing first. They're not going to win the check. Don't worry. But they're going to guess. And then that will help you judge how you should guess. Check out my poker face. Bye-bye poker face. And then that way you'll have an educated guess when you call in. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is great. Oh, he's either it's very high, <laughs> okay. very entertaining. All right. Oh, I got a few few hints. 
Okay. Well, listen. I've last done all time kinds made, of stuff. The last time you made that face was nine hundred some dollars. Yeah. So here's the thing. I've given away, oh, oh, well, probably around two thousand dollars between two checks. <sighs> one was nine hundred and something. One was a thousand something. So you can win a lot of money. Um, this is for one episode of Good Luck Charlie. Oh, remember that show on the Disney Network? I, I did one episode. And the episode was called Blanky Go Bye Bye. And I played a goodwill worker. Speaking of goodwill yeah, hunting, you know, uh, isn't that funny? Uh, and they, you know, they accidentally donated their blanket and they wanted it back and they had to go through me, the guy at the goodwill. I've seen this episode. Yeah. And I my think kids love this show. It's unfortunately, a good, it was great. And I think my line was, once you donate something, you do not get it back. It back. is mine. Yeah. So I was kind of a douche in this. I had butt sweats, my character. Anyway. <laughs> One episode. This is for basic cable. Ooh. Okay. What's that mean? Extended basic or basic? This is basic cable. One episode. How much is the Screen Actors Guild residual check? I'm going basic cable. Yeah. Not even on satellite or streaming. <laughs> it's basic, dude. Just a basic cable. Yeah. Like somebody stole it from the pole. <laughs> yeah. I'm I mean, say, I want you to think like that. Yes. I, somebody did steal it from the pole, so nobody really knew that they watched, and then they left it on and fell asleep. Yeah. Probably a dollar and a quarter. Hmm. One dollar. 25 cents. And 25 cents. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not bad, buddy. Pretty darn good. Oh. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Elliot, who can't wait. He's leaned in. He's, he's right up on the mic like a good boy. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you got that posterior hydrosis ever. Uh, That's what it was. Care. Posterior hydrosis was the medical term for my butt sweats. And, and, and I'll tell you, no. He remembers that. I, every, I every penny in that check is because of me, because I played that thing on a loop with, on Disney just for you. <laughs> so well, then you probably know how much this check is. Um, but, yeah, here's another thing, too. If you guys want to impact the game, uh, just look up something I've been in, right? Uh, been in lots of stuff. And, and watch it. And they, they'll have to pay me, you know? It, whether it's free or not, I don't know. But find something I'm in and watch it, and then we'll get more of these games, these checks, and we can play the game. How much? Two dollars and twelve cents. Two dollars mm. and twelve cents. Yes, sir. You're winning. Oh, no. I'm a winner. Isaiah, how much is this check? I'm gonna go a dollar and twelve cents. Mm. We have a new winner. What? Ooh. Let's keep going, Sergeant. Have a ball. I'm go ninety eight cents. Mm. Ninety eight. We cent. have a new winner. <laughs> wow. All righty. So get that in your there, head. One of my favorite singers would probably be a good guess right now. Yep. That cent. would be a good one. Let's not say anything. <laughs> no. The be Alan Jackson, do we have people in the bullpen? Uh, yes, we do. Let's let them in the show and see if they can guess even better. Someone's going to win this check. Hi, John Reap. Who am I talking to? Jamie. <laughs> oh, Jamie, do me a favor. I can hear me in your background. Can you pause or mute whatever it is you're watching us on so I can talk to you clearly, please? I got you. Thank you, Jamie. Now, Elliot, why did you freak out? She's the one that put your uh, thing together today. Your uh, uh, What's that, that TV oh, stand over there? She was here. She yes. put up the uh, the stand. Oh, yes. well, see, that's kind of inside baseball a little bit. No, so. Well, Jamie, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it was nice to meet you today. That's, this is Friends of Elliot. We don't know. We don't screen the calls. And Isaiah. She loves and worships Isaiah. And Isaiah. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Look, take it easy, guys. I just met her. <laughs> she did a good job putting together this little TV stand over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Jamie. Uh, where are you calling in from? Hickory. Oh, you're right in Hickory, huh? The Alan Jackson. Is there that intense oh, music yeah, playing yeah. underneath? Sorry, I forgot we talked about, about this. Yes, we did. Mm. I forgot. It's okay. Intense the music. Yeah, we, we like to have... As people are guessing, you know, like who wants to be a millionaire? Yes. The intense music yes. playing in the background. Yes, I feel very intense right now. Jamie, this is it. All right. Have you have you seen the show? Good luck, Charlie. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Now, what do you do for a living, Jamie? I'm a consultant. Okay. 
Okay, she's a consultant. And an assembly required. An assembly uh, required consultant. person who assembles things. Yes. Pleasant lady. And uh, from Hickory, Jamie? Yes. Born and raised. Okay. What high school did you go to? Actually, I was born and raised in the West Coast. Okay, I was incorrect. <laughs> All right, Jamie. Um, not from Hickory, but currently in Hickory. What part of the West Coast? It's pretty, pretty long, the coast. <laughs> of the west of Florida. Colorado Colorado actually not on the west coast <laughs> FYI it is in the middle of the country no coast at all no, no coast a lot, no lot, lot, lot of Tetons not not until the big earthquake yeah no no coast <laughs> maybe when it was Pangea <laughs> all right Jamie how much is this Screen Actors Guild residual check? I'm gonna go with three dollars and 42 cents mm. Three dollars and forty-two cents. Put her on hold, the Alan Jackson. This is where it pays clues. off to pay attention. The clues to the in-house guessing, because had she paid attention, she would have seen the trend of where it ended up and where it started, mm. and she went the other way. She went the other way. Okay. She liked so the show better than possibly her. she was behind, and you know it's a little delay. Turn it down. Yeah, it's a delay. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your call, Jamie. We've got two more callers. The Alan Jackson. I love the music. Yeah. Let the next person in. And let's find Hello? out. Hi, John Reap. Who am I talking to? This is Mike. Mike from? Hickory. Mike from Hickory. Woo, we got We've two, never had Hickory callers. Two Hickory callers. <laughs> Normally it's Oregon, I mean, what, what, Montana. Are there toll charges again? <laughs> And he's one eight hundred collect. <laughs> Mike, what, Mike from Hickory. Uh, what do you do, buddy? Uh, I am an inspector. Oh, are you a private inspector or a public inspector? I inspect beds. What, what did he say? He said he's the the person who inspects the underwear at number thirteen. They put the little tag in the back. You got all that. Yeah, all From that, whatever yeah. he just. Well, I just made it all up because I didn't hear it. Either. Mike, what do you inspect? And speak into the microphone or the the receiver, please. <laughs> I inspect a poultry. Uh, upholstery. 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 Oh, okay. I see. So you're in the furniture business, possibly. Hickory was once the furniture capital of the world. Mike inspects upholstery. Do you watch Disney shows? Every now and again. What high school did you go to? Uh, one in Wisconsin. All these, All these people transplants. coming into Hickory, taking our upholstery jobs and consulting <laughs> jobs from the west coast of Colorado and Wisconsin. They didn't even bring their damn cheese. Yeah, I was just in Wisconsin, by the way. What part of Wisconsin, Mike? Uh, the Milwaukee area. Milwaukee. The Milwaukee area. I, w I flew into Milwaukee, rented a car. Drove to uh, Lake Geneva. Hmm. Are you familiar with these areas? Yeah, that's actually the town I went to high school. Okay. Well, I want you to guess, Mike, from Wisconsin, upholstery inspector from Hickory. How much is the Screen Actors Guild residual check? I'm going with a quarter. Quarter? One quarter. One quarter. 25 Five. cents. All right, Mike. Not a bad guess. It's not exactly right. And we have one more person who could guess better than you, possibly. Because it wasn't exactly right. Hmm. Good guess, though. Put him on hold, the Ella Jackson, and let the next person into the room. And let's find out. Hi, John Reap here. Who am I talking to? You're talking with David. David. David's my middle name. And that's a fact. Heck yeah, it's a good name. A good name. Jonathan David Reap is my Good full Bible name. name. Good right. solid Bible name. Biblical. David, where are you calling in from? Don't say Hickory. <laughs> no, no, listen, no listen, listen, listen to me. Now, I, I'm calling from Peru, Indiana, but I'm sitting right here with Danny Jackson. You know, the one that does all your artwork now. Oh, hey, Danny Jackson. I appreciate hey. you, brother. Yeah, oh, Danny God. Jackson's a Patreon supporter and a damn good artist. And yeah, he's uh, my best friend. And he's your best friend, David. I knew that. Yes, That's quizzing you.
<laughs> well, David, what do you do for a living? Uh, I, I I run a pizza store, pizza place. Oh, yeah. What's the name of it? It's My Pizza, My Way in Peru, Indiana. My, my pizza, pizza, My way. way. Oh, I love it. Yeah. That sounds like Frank Sinatra would yeah. enjoy this pizza. <laughs> yep. That's what I was going to. Right? Was yeah. it? Yeah. I was going. I was thinking. I, I eat it <laughs> my way. I slice yeah, it I up. I fold it less. I put it in. I chew it up. Okay. I ate it. What's your and favorite? That's the win. <laughs> Go ahead, David. <laughs> You'll eat it your way. Yeah. A dollar forty-one. A dollar forty-one. Is a pizza? I was the whole done pizza? To you. No, no. I think he went straight to his guess. Oh, he went to the guess. I oh. did. David. I did. David, I did. who worked at a right. pizza place, who's best <laughs> friends with Danny Jackson, calling in from Peru, Indiana, guessed one dollar and forty-two cents. Not bad. 41. Put them on. 41. Let's don't get a penny off. My, my apologies. <laughs> my apologies. Not a penny off. My apologies, David. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you on hold. I'm going to hand the check off to my runner, my intern, uh, Sergeant Havaball, ex-military. Get stuff done quickly. He's going to hand it to the Alan Jackson, oh. my producer. He's going to crunch the numbers, right? He's going to put it into a spreadsheet and figure out exactly, work the algorithm, find out exactly <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm. algorithm. I like it. Yeah, I got it. And I he's got it. I mean, I... Out who won? <laughs> right. I think that would be a funny meme. Yeah. Like if you think about it, Al Gore oh, takes credit for inventing the, the internet. Yeah. And what is the internet? But algorithms. algorithms. Let's make it tonight. Algorithm. Let's get on memecreator.com. He can't even dance. Have you seen him try no, to he's dance? he's a bad dancer. All right. The Alan Jackson. Uh, yes, we have a winner. Oh, boy. I'm and excited. I will bring them into the show now. All right. Can't wait to find out who won. Who won. And let's bring them on. Any time, we'll find out. We'll get more information. We'll see if we can get them exactly right. All right. Hi, John Reap here. Who's this again? This is Mike. Mike, congratulations, dude. Your guess was the closest one. You won the check, but you're not exactly right. What was his guess? It was 25 cents. 40. Wow. Wow, 25 cents. 25 cent. 25 cent was the closest. You should have went with our famous rap singer. That's right. You were going to say 50, 50 cent. cent. All right. So why don't we do this, Mike? If we take your guess, 25 cents, and we... We add famous rapper Fifty Cent to that. How much you got? Seventy-five cents. Seventy-five cents. Algorithms coming in right there. now. Now what I want you to do is minus <laughs> Dale Earnhardt's number. Ooh. And then what do you got? Oh, he's listening. Seventy-five minus eight. And nope, nope. Dale Earnhardt, not Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Senior. What was oh, his number? Minus three. Minus three. Seventy-five minus three equals. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. That's right. Seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. $72 cents is exactly right. I'm going to put my finger next to this number so you know wow, that you're getting cents. you're going to get a check in the mail from me signed over to you for 72 cents. And me and my buddy Sebastian have one question for you. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that cash? I bubble gum. Buy bubble gum. You might get one slice of Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe, you can get it. You might get that. All right, so what I need you to do now, Mike, I need you to go to countryish.com, go to the contact section, send me an email, all right, and let me know what your address is, and remind me of the amount of the check. And then I will have my intern, Elliot, over here 
Get this check out in the mail to you ASAP. And not only that, we're going to give you a dang... Uh, hang on. I'll show you what it is. I'll give you one, too, because you got beer over there. Yeah. Look at this. You're going to get a country-ish koozie Koozy. along with the check. Huh? Isn't that something, Mike? That's awesome. All right. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, my friend, and uh, hope to hope to see you next week. All right. Hang up on them, the Alan Jacks. I'm tired of these people taking my money all the time. <laughs> Nickel and diamond me is what they're doing. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Nickel and dime at a time. Quarter right. you. Quarter you. Well, look, we've done an hour and 22 minutes, and Ooh. we haven't even got to the one of my favorite segments yet. You know, there's a lot of negative things going mm. on in the news, Sebastian. You know A lot this. of stuff. A lot of I'm stuff. talking a lot of politics stuff. A lot of pandemic stuff. We don't like to mess with that. We like to find the happy-go-lucky weird things that fall through the cracks. My friend Justin Clyde Williams. Town dudes with small town news. Breaking stories of crimes committed. You never do mind your P's and Q's or they'll cover you. The town may be small, but the news is huge. All right, dude. Um, this happened in your state. Yes. This was in Florida. And um, crazy, crazy, crazy video shows a Florida man fighting off a bear with his own hands. His bare hands. Oh, bear. wait a minute. You know what we forgot to do? Were you supposed to sing a song? Do you just want me to wait till the end to break it out? Maybe we'll do it in the... In the closing? Yeah. Possibly. I've, All righty. I've skipped over that. Or maybe we'll save it for next time. Does it matter what uh, what episode you do this on? No, it doesn't right, matter. We'll save it for I'll next just, time. Okay. you got three more things to review, right? Yeah. All right. So so next week, Isaiah's going to sing for us. Singing debut? Yeah. Yeah, my singing debut. So, All right, but let's talk about this crazy Florida man who fought off a bear. All right? So um, I say we just watch the video... And let's react to it and go around the room and talk about this. Check this out. (laughs) Look at it. Oh my god, that's my home. That's my city. Daytona Beach, dude. Listen to the sound of that. How vicious that thing sounds. It's worse than slow motion. I know, yeah. That sounds like Godzilla. I mean, that is terrifying. This dude is a damn hero, though. I want this guy in my corner. No matter what. Look, he didn't even, he didn't hesitate for a second. All right, pause at the Al Jacks. It didn't even affect him. He looked like it was every day in Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there were bears in Daytona Beach. Okay, I thought you were going to – there's a lot of black bears in Florida. Oh, why they got to be black, dude? Because <laughs> the, okay, br- be the brown ones don't come down that far. <laughs> okay. They're going the other way. <laughs> so, I didn't know this. There's a lot of brown, uh, black bears in Florida. And, I mean, I knew Florida, but not Daytona Beach. But Daytona Beach, I don't know. That's weird. There's no trees in Daytona. I mean, it's yeah. not. So that's, that's bizarre weird. right that's away. That's bizarre Out right away. Gate, uh, black bears in Daytona Beach, okay. Um, and this guy didn't hesitate. So apparently there was this little puppy. Yeah. Did you see that? I saw the so puppy. So his little dog was uh, hanging out in this, looks like a back patio screened-in area. Yeah. Uh, with a baby gate. A baby gate. Yeah, yeah I noticed that ba- too. By the way, baby gates don't keep out black bears. Evidently. Or cubs. Seen... No. Maybe babies, but not bears. Maybe puppies, but, <laughs> but that didn't stop the bear. Uh, but, yeah, this dude didn't hesitate. Went right in. I, that's how much he loves his dog. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, don't know what, how I would react I was going to gonna ask you, what would you have done? You'd probably. Jump, I don't know. You probably jumped up on the, the thing. <laughs> Would you not? I would have said, uh, "Honey, a bear ate the dog." 
<laughs> I don't know what I would have done. I'd like to think I would have done what this guy did, but you don't really know until fight or flight moments happen. You ever had a, like a rat run in front of you and you jump up on the counter and scared? No, I freaked out. Like I'd be like, oh, yeah. you know, oh well. This is look. Like I don't 20, like snakes. A hundred. Oh well, that's a hundred times worse. This bear. Yeah. So I probably, I probably would not have been as heroic as this guy. Yeah. What would, you, what would you guys have done in this situation? Well, before I say what I would have done, can we play the video one more time? Sure. Because people are saying on Facebook that they didn't see yeah. it. Oh, they yeah. Let's play it again. Video. All right, play it again with the oh, L. Jackson. Sorry. It's fine. Here it is in slow motion. Yeah. Uh, see the little the puppy. guy. He comes over, over the gate. Over the gate. Trying to take the puppy. He grabs the puppy, pushes the bear out, blocks it with a bucket and a bench. <laughs> <laughs> and the bear leaves. Oh, this is vicious. <laughs> Have you seen that movie, uh... The Revenant. Yeah, with Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. And he fights off that bear. That's what he should have done. If Leonardo DiCaprio had a bucket and a bench. If he had a good bench like that from Big Lots, he would have had it. Yeah, that's a that's one of them rocking benches, too. Yeah. That's, you know. I mean, and then those, those look heavy. He moved it with one arm fast. Yeah. After he pushed a bear out of the doorway, hit it with the bucket, pulled the bench. This guy's a hero. This, this guy needs to be in the MMA. <laughs> I want to see him fight freaking, uh, I don't Connor know, who's McGregor. that wrestler you were talking about, or a doll? Oh, Kota Ibushi. Oh, he would <laughs> kick Kota Ibushi's butt. Right. That is insane. So they didn't, so they didn't, what, what, what would you have done, dude, in this situation? I'm not sure. I'd probably just be like a Mongo in Blazing Saddles when he knocks out that horse. Yeah. Right. Trying to, like, knock him out. Yeah. Pa pow. Uh, what about you, Elliot? I don't know. I've always wanted to fight a bear ever since Brad Pitt got killed at, by one at the end of uh, Legends of the Fall. Well, I've seen you with your shirt off. <laughs> and I feel like <laughs> if a bear. You're fighting the bear every night. It would try to get behind. <laughs> like Thanks for bear. that image. You know what I mean? You talk about the bear necessities, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they call big, hairy, gay dudes. They call yeah, them bears. Bears. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I feel like that would fit in for you. <laughs> Um, I have an yeah, idea. Yeah, I think we need to take him and get him waxed, yeah, like Steve oh, Carell and Forty Year Old Virgin. Oh, that would be good. Would you oh, be down for that? For no, a I would not. <laughs> Pencil you in for that. Pencil you in. Sounds good. I, I looked at some of the comments on on this video on YouTube, and one person wrote, "Florida man, I was just attacked by a bear." The bear says, "I was just attacked by no, a Florida, Florida man. man. Yeah, it was even scarier than I expected." <laughs> there are some really good comments on this video. Mm -hmm. I looked at some of them. One guy wrote, "CNN, this is just this just in: a white man attacks a bear that identifies as a puppy." <laughs> uh, if anyone, if anyone could, it would be a Florida man. He went for the leg sweep. Yeah, and he blocked the path. This dude should be an MMA. Did you notice that? Uh, if you play it again, this dude, he kind of went for the legs. Although I think he was trying to save his puppy and leg sweep the bear at the same time. Now watch pulled, this. Let's pulled. watch this again yeah. and listen to it. Boom. Leg. <laughs> Straight on, yeah. I, think, I don't think he was thinking either. I think he was just getting my react. dog and get this bear and block it. Good instincts, man. We gotta find out who this dude and is. And if a bear can climb a tree, could he not climb over I, the yeah, bench? Yeah. Well, I think he was so terrified of this man. Yeah, the Florida man got him. Florida man. And I've got been him. around a lot of Florida men. They yeah. scare me. That dude. I mean, he's probably a tall guy. He's wearing a construction neon yeah. yellow shirt. And those guys don't play. They don't play. I mean, this bear's probably had some experiences with some some angry construction guys. He probably was some John Denver playing in the background. We didn't hear. <laughs> John Denver. <laughs> Uh, possibly. possibly yeah yeah uh but yeah uh, this dude is a hero i want to find out when's the next time you're going to Daytona i'm Beach? gonna go down soon to see this guy if we can get this guy's information i'll go by his house someone 
find out who this dude is. It's in Daytona Beach. I One mean, of my crack research interns over here. I need you to get on this. All find right, out they... who this man is. I want him to zoom into the show. Can you get on that for me? I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'm on it. I love it. All right, listen. Daytona <clears throat> Beach. Yeah. The town. <laughs> But the news is huge. All righty, folks. I had a good time up in here today. Hope you did. Hope you hit the share button. Don't forget to come see me live out there on the road. I'll be in Walhalla, South Carolina, Friday. I'll be in Shelby, North Carolina, Saturday. And then after that, I'll be in Albany, New York. I'm everywhere, dude. All my tour dates are at countryish.com. Click on tour dates and let's go. Let's do final thoughts before we uh, end this show. Uh, Sebastian, I'll start with you. Anything that you forgot to say or want to say, or any corrections that need to be made? No, it's we've we we've, we've bared through this, mm. bore through it. Is that the ba- bear bore boring? Huh? Is that how you say the conjugated verb? Oh, I bear? don't know. Yeah, we barely made it through. Barely. Lots of fun bear jokes <laughs> yeah. in there. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Uh, Elliot, I know you're chomping at the bit. Oh. Well, you had asked about the uh, Joe Exotic uh, Bill. Yes. Earlier. Okay, he was uh, transferred from FMC Fort Worth to Federal Medical Center in Butner in North Carolina. Joe and Exotic, Joe the Exotic. guy from the Tiger King, the is same. now in North Carolina. Indeed he is. How the hell or why the hell? Did that happen? And why is he on a billboard? Now, I'll be in Butner tomorrow if we can arrange a visit. Where's Butner? <laughs> Near Raleigh. Oh. So he's in Raleigh, pretty Close. much. Yeah. Well, what's he doing on a billboard in Newton? People are supporting him in Newton because we love Joe Exotic, <laughs> and we're standing behind him. Well, if he could be on a billboard, I could be on a billboard. Let's get exactly. it done. Well, that could be arranged. Our good friend Mark Scarberry, who we would all like to wish a very happy birthday to, oh. he works at Home Depot, and he said that they would sponsor it. Okay. Well, let's make let's hold his feet to the fire. <laughs> okay, well, I'll do if so. Home Depot will pay for a billboard, I'll be on it. Sounds good. Thank you, Mark. Yes, Mark Thank Scarberry. You. All right. Let's go to... I'm so sorry, and we would like to. I see. can't. I can't read your face because you're wearing <laughs> my face, yes, so I can't figure you out. Okay. Yes. Well, we would also like, since you gave us such a, a back-breaking workload, to like to welcome our fourth intern, Zach Hamilton, uh, the young man that is called in several times with the the infant brother. Okay. You know the homeschooled. Yes. Yes. And, and what do you uh, mean, new intern? I'm, uh, we, you Take said that it, here. you said that it was okay to uh, give him some responsibility. Yes, yes. yes. Well, and what is his responsibility? Uh, helping with the small town news stories. For oh, now. very good. Yes, but a phone does not come with the job, Zach. I'm sorry. That's right. Now, look, you can all, everybody can help out with the small town news. If you see a crazy, funny story and you think it would be perfect for this segment, by all means, go to Countryish Podcast Facebook yep. page. And uh, Elliot, I mean, Isaiah, who checks that, will uh, let me know about it. You guys will get on it. Thank you very much. Uh, Isaiah? Uh, two things. Happy birthday, Mark Scarberry. And, huh? We, we said that one already. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to say Yeah, uh, let me do it, too. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mark Happy Scarberry. Happy birthday, Mark. And then the second thing is, at the top of the show, Will Enlow, I guess that's yeah. it, how he pronounces his last name. Left a good comment, and he said, "Yeah, I got a. I had to fight off a wild animal once. Her name was Vicky, and she was a redhead." Oh yeah, wow. that's a good one. Thank you, William. Um, I don't think I've ever had to fight off an animal. I've run from dogs. They're like stray dogs in the neighborhood when I was growing up. Run from there was one called Moose, and yeah. we used to say Moose is on the loose, so he'd get away and terrify the neighborhood. But I never got attacked. By a wild animal, but maybe maybe people in the comment section will let Sergeant have a ball. Final thoughts. Only thing I was going to say is cheers. I'm going to finish this up and be safe going home. There we go. All right, for uh, the Allen Jackson, for Sergeant Have a Ball, for Elliot the intern, for intern Isaiah, for Sebastian. My name is John Reed. Bicycle. Well, life on the farm is kind of laid back, but I wouldn't know that I'm from a cul-de-sac. Don't shoot a back and I don't smoke crack. Thank God I'm country-ish. Well, a simple kind of life never did me no harm, but I do know a guy with only one arm. Keep your fancy smartphones and your self-parked cars. Thank God I'm country-ish. Well, I got a podcast that'll make you giggle. It ain't number one, it's right in the middle. The town's not big, but it ain't too little. It's 
time for country Hey everybody, it's me again. I just want to say thank you for listening or watching this podcast. You know, we couldn't do this without supporters like you. Oh wait, are you not a supporter? Well, you could be. It's real simple. Go to countryishpodcast.com. Click on the word support. That will take you to our Patreon page. That's our support page. And from there, you can support us in many different ways. There's uh, different levels. You got $5 and up. You got Pewter Pro, Rhinestone Level, Executive Zirconia, all the way up to Platinum Elite. And all of them come with different rewards. We're talking hats, T-shirts, ginger beard masks, even be a guest on the show. You got to check out our Patreon page. Go to countryishpodcast.com, click on support, and thank you. See, here's the check right here. Hit that share button if you haven't done it. Now's a good time. The show's over. Might as well hit the share. Here's the check. I'm going to go ahead and endorse it to, uh, what was his name, Mike? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. So I'm going to put my name on it. Paid to the order of Mike. Mike, don't forget to send that email. And I'm going to get this check. 72 cents. It's coming your way, buddy.